It's Monday, which means only one thing. It's time to get hype. We're talking rumors, or in today's video, confirmation of the rumors coming from Games Workshop itself. Also, with Adepticon incoming this Thursday in the UK, Wednesday if you're in the US, it seems that there's a post on the internet claiming all the Adepticon reveals, and it kind of looks real to me, so we're going to go through that as well. So let's jump in, and let's get waffling. So let's start with the big thing, and that is Games Workshop confirming the rumors, because if you look in the background right now, they've started the hype to Adepticon three days ago, and they've started with this image. That there in the background is, of course, a Chaos Space Marine. The rumors that we've been talking about for months now on this channel, that Chaos are getting two new lords this looks like to be one of the first ones the one that is not a jump pack lord because the rumors was one was just going to be a regular chaos lord and the other one was going to have a jump pack on the back of it but the really cool thing about the chaos launch is apparently there's going to be two brand new chaos boxes that are going to be coming out which of course feature these new two chaos lords one is going to be a regular legion air box which i think it's all about this image in the background and the other one is going to feature the Chaos uh, Lord with a jump pack, and apparently that's going to have like a more demon-esque theme to it, like possessed marines and stuff like that. So two big new characters coming for Chaos Space Marines, and also two big boxes coming for Chaos Space Marines as well. For me, this is confirmation of the rumors that I've been hearing about, that I've been talking about now for months and months and months, and if this turns out to be right, which I really do think it is, that means the other rumors that i've been hearing about may be turning right as well and if they turn right then this summer is going to be a bloody summer get ready the sons of sanguinis we'll start talking about that in you know weeks coming and stuff like that because that is some big big stuff and i'm really excited to see what those blood angels do eventually get and on the subject of confirmation of rumors just quickly i want to put this image up in the background right now this is confirmation of the brand new tau combat patrol again the whispers we've been talking about this for months now on the channel this was the apparent rumored brand new combat patrol it is now official and that opens up the doors to the other combat patrols i've been hearing about mainly the orc one because the orc one i'm hearing about is purely going to be beast snagger theme so if that rumor is true and that's turned out true i do think now the beast snagger rumor um for the combat patrol is also going to be true so if you're an orc player it looks like your combat patrol is going to be beast snagger themed and jumping over to this window big shout out to a chap called abby over on my discord server he sent me this in a pm apparently this is from another discord server an eldar server apparently i don't know what the eldar server is maybe you know it's a big server or something i normally just focus on my server and um, these are apparently all the adepticon reveals that are got to be happening this week if this turns out to be true then i i'm kind of lost for words i don't really know where like how it's so leaky at games workshop right like they should not ever go into the manufacture of boats or anything that floats on water it would be a disaster titanic 2.0 if this turns out to be true uh, so the first one says i'm just gonna look over here because it's a little bit bigger the first one says that the aos reveals are abraxia lady of ruin absolutely no idea who that is aos people i'm sure you'll fill me in on this ascended cull i think i know who cull is i'm sure he was from warmer fantasy i may be wrong the cinematic trailer for fourth edition which i'm convinced he's going to be showing off anyway because they've been teasing the small little trailers to that like you know sigma lied and we got one the other day sunday evening about like all warp lightning um, i say warp lightning like skaven uh, green lightning coming up from like the sewers or the underground so it's definitely on the agenda that we are gonna get that brand new cinematic for fourth edition maybe even a few models to be revealed or a few teasers of the models in that cinematic trailer as well underworld is supposed to be nurgle demons versus night horned alchemist okay yeah underworld people i guess that's good for you uh war cry um kun offy war dancers hopefully i pronounced that right versus bone reaper monsters again all seems plausible all seems absolutely the you know good for me um uh, the old world is dwarves i know it's going to be dwarves because they've just released the green skin stuff now and the rumor i was hearing months ago that it was going to be green skins 
and dwarves is going to be the next launch. So definitely dwarves, I believe, and it's going to be a dwarf fane uh, with a shield bearer, which again, I can completely see because that is one of the big units in one of the new rule books. Um, and 40k um, uh, is going to be the Chaos Lord, Terminator, Chaos Lord with a jump pack and box. Again, I don't know if it's going to be a Chaos Lord, Terminator, or not i just heard chaos one one chaos lord and one chaos lord with a jump pack if it turns out to be a terminator then i think that could be a really big win as well but i definitely believe uh, the 40k stuff and the kill team and apparently they tagged me in this on the discord server it says um voten pioneers versus brood brothers uh, with new kd look semi confirmed by chapter master varak i don't know how i can semi confirm it when i literally said all this months and months ago i don't know it's not a semi confirm it's a full on right it's not a semi it's fully in there um and horace Harris, uh, sorry necromunda uh teaser trailer for necromunda secundus again we talked about this a couple of weeks ago or last week and stuff like that with my uh, you know build up and hype to adepticon um definitely necromunda secundus is coming uh, apparently he's got to be gene stealer themed um because that um um uh, hive city has been uh, cordoned off and stuff because of uh, gene stealers and stuff like that. Uh, so maybe gene stealer themed kill teams. I say kill teams like um, uh, Necromunda gangs or like Necromunda purge gangs aimed at killing gene stealer cults and stuff. I have no idea. It sounds cool. It sounds amazing. Really looking forward to that. There's also a rumor as well of a brand new squat um, um, bike or trike or is it a, is it a quad or a trike? Something like that. That's coming from Necromunda as well. So maybe they're going to be showing that off at the event. And lastly, Horus Harris uh, Mechanicus Knights. Um, been talking about that again in the Rumorverse. Um, from me, Mechanicus Knights, Plastic Mechanicus Knights with the next knights going forward. Then after that, I'm hearing it's going to be brand new Plastic Mechanicum is going to be hitting the Horus Heresy as well. So exciting times going forward if you're a Horus Heresy fan. I believe everything that has been stated over on that post by Abby that has been taken from the Eldar server. So, um, yeah, I'm with it. Let's rock and roll. It looks like it's going to be a really, really good eventful show on Thursday. Looking forward to seeing all these cool and awesome models. Anyway, Chaprunios, that's enough waffling for me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Just a quick one before we actually do finish the video. Um, a lot of people keep asking me about the Blood Angel stuff, about the Krieg stuff. Are we going to see it at Adepticon? I'm going to say no. I think it's too far away for that at this moment in time. If you're going to start seeing that stuff, it's probably going to be around that start of summertime i'm sure they're going to do another preview show in the next month month and a half two months something like that what's the next big event around summertime when i know we're not getting a warhammer fest this year because they've uh, canned that with all the disaster that happened last year so they'll probably just maybe do like a warmer fest online show or something and that's when we'll start seeing that stuff if anything we may get a slight look into the agents of the imperium codex that got more or less leaked the other week maybe they got to slot that in there and say hey look this is the agents of the imperium codex it is coming it is going to be at the start of summer and then you know that's another big talking point i don't think they're going to show any models off or anything like that they may just slip that in there because we technically know now that that codex is coming but yeah that's a subject for another time thank you for coming thank you for watching again if you've got any thoughts feedback anything like that post it down below and we'll have a nice little chinwag down there as we always do see you have a great day and bye bye